good shots tonight have already caused a big stir in America. And I know they're about to do the same here. One of them is an eight-year-old demon tap dancer with an adorable personality. And the other one is exactly the same because they're twins! <laughs> From Los Angeles, it's Freddie and Teddy. Freddie and Teddy, my goodness. I don't think you need to do any dancing. You're just completely gorgeous and smart and handsome. How are you? Very well, thank you. How are you? Great. Obviously, I feel a little bit like I'm seeing double here. Is there a way of telling you apart? I can whistle, he can't. Oh, OK. Can I hear the whistling? And you can't whistle at all? <laughs> we just call that blowing. <laughs> Have you ever played that game where you try to fool people that you're someone else? Yes. No. <laughs> Who's telling the truth? I'm interested in the whole Freddy Teddy thing. Do you think that um, twins have to have rhyming names? Because if I had a twin, for instance, would you be called Prawn? <laughs> what does that mean? Just, you know, that rhymes with Dawn. Do you know what a prawn is? No. <laughs> OK, we speak a similar language, but not exactly the same. I think it's a kind of shrimp. Do you know what shrimp is? Yes. Yes, exactly, but that doesn't rhyme with dawn, so that's no, no good. <laughs> so now then, is this your first time to England, you guys? Yes. yes, it is. What do you think? It's pretty cool. How, how long have you been here so far? I've been here... <laughs> Five days. Five days. OK. Hmm. And same for you? <laughs> Probably six. In. He's making it six days. This is your sixth day. He's he's going like this. <laughs> your head, you... Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Monday Tuesday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Five. Oh. <laughs> so you guys have been tap dancing for how long? Four years. Four years. Four and a half. <laughs> We were too young for sports, so my mom found this dance studio. <laughs> and my mom found this dance studio, and then she didn't want us to be playing video games all day. Yeah, I'm with your mom on that. What's that? I can see I'm going to have to watch you very carefully because you're a cheeky one. What do you feel like when you're dancing? It makes me happy. Does it? You can slip on a pair of shoes and then you can do cool sounds. Do you want to see my favourite move I made? Yes, at? I do. <laughs> yes, yes. Oh, cool. Do you have a favourite move you want to show me? Come on, you're competitive with him. Come on. to hear me make the sound of being confounded by the debacle that was Brexit. Sure. <laughs> it's just this. <laughs> You've come a long way, guys, all the way from America. Are you ready to show us what's in those magic feet? Yes, we are. I am so ready. Ladies and gentlemen, Freddie and Teddy. Take it away, boys.
well done, guys. Very well done. The phenomenal Freddie and Teddy. Little Big Shot has hands that move like a hurricane. In the world of speed stacking, he is literally the Don. From Kent, it's 10-year-old Zach. of the world, right? I've seen a few things in my time. What is speed stacking? Speed stacking is a sport where you have 12 specially designed cups and there's three sequences, the 323, the 363 and the cycle and you have to stack them in the fastest possible time you can. OK, so this is an actual sport? Yeah. And people compete in this yeah. sport, do they? Yes. OK, and have you done competitions with this? Yeah, I've been to Germany for the World Championship. Yeah. And I got, in my age group, I got a fifth and an eighth. Amazing! <laughs> we're going to bring on a table and we're going to have a go and you're going to show me, OK? So, little big helpers, could you bring the table on, please? <laughs> All right, lovely. I'm going to stand here. Right, Zach, we've got the cups. Is there anything else that we need? Yeah. A mat and a timer. This is the timer here? Yeah. All right. Right, well, obviously, I'm going to watch you do it first, right? You said there were three different patterns, didn't you? Are you doing all three of the moves? Yeah. You ready? Go. Right, that was sort of a blur, <laughs> basically. How long was that? Was that good? 7.9 Was that good seconds. timing for you? Yeah. Yeah, good. Okay, what's your fastest time ever been? 6.90. Do they dread you coming into Starbucks? <laughs> no. <laughs> Could you do it slowly for me to see, without okay. the timer? I'll show you the 363. <laughs> so you take that cup, yeah. place it down, and put that one on top. Yeah. Grab three cups if you're right hand, two if you're left hand, the right one down, left, right, left, right. And then do the same again with the... Right, okay. do it slowly. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually going to do it from the very beginning. I'm going to take it off like that and start it. I feel that skilled. <laughs> OK. You ready? Yeah. All right, I've got to put that on naught. Ready? Yeah. Set. Go. <laughs> If you slow that down, that would be everything out everywhere and back again. Oh, oh, it's still going. Oh, damn, that's 79 <laughs> minutes. That's not so good. All right, will you do it again for me? Slowly. So that I can see it. Yeah, do it slowly. How on earth did you start doing this? Well, my sister Denya, she got some cups for her birthday. She never touched them, so I picked them up. And then I, I thought it was really cool, so I started practising. Quicker times just made me want to do it more. Would you like to be the number one in the whole world? Yeah. It'd be quite hard because the world champion, his yeah. best is 465. His yeah. 18. And how old are you again? 10. Yeah, you, you are so <laughs> going to beat him. Are you ready? We're going to have another go. OK. Three at that end, six, six in the middle, and, and three. three. Yeah. Uh, so that. Yeah. Right, yeah. OK, you ready? Yeah. Go! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Zach! This next little big shot is something of an internet sensation. Her sublime acrobatic dancing has been enjoyed by three and a half million people. Aged eight from Oxford, this is Jenea. <laughs> Oh, my 
goodness, look at this. Are you a Formula One driver? <laughs> That's huge, isn't it? Is that for me? Is that a present for... Oh. <laughs> what is this? Um, it's a trophy and I came first at a dance competition. Well done, Janae. <laughs> I'm going to put that there for you. Now, look at you looking like a vision of feathery fabulousness. <laughs> <laughs> I love that bit. And so I made gorgeous. one for you. <gasps> Can I have a look at it? So I've got to see that immediately. Sorry, there's a feathery thing that's arrived for <laughs> me. <laughs> Oh, look, that's so gorgeous. So that would go on me like this. <laughs> I'm going to a party this weekend and I'm wearing that for sure. <laughs> Thank you so much. That's OK. Do you make anything edible ever? Um... <laughs> Just checking, that's my favourite stuff. <laughs> How have you managed to be so bendy? <laughs> have you got any bones at all? <laughs> well, they all dropped out. And I've got some moves for you. Have you? I'll do an easy one first. OK, you've got the moves. That one first. OK, well, that's good. Do you want me to try that? <laughs> OK, that's... <laughs> 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 don't touch... Yeah, OK. Yeah, oh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah OK, yes. And the next one's that one. <laughs> <laughs> there, I, did it, I did it so fast you can't see it. <laughs> and... That one. <laughs> yeah, I'm just going to sit down and watch you. <laughs> How did you get started with all this dancing? My mum inspired me cos when I was little I went to watch her. So your mum was a dancer as well then? Yeah, she's yeah. over there. Did you yeah. think she was very graceful when she was dancing? Yeah. Yeah, but you're much better, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> much better. <laughs> <laughs> now, do you mind if we play a little game? Who is the best dancer out of these people? Beyonce or... Ed Balls. <laughs> Do you know who Ed Balls is? He was the Shadow Home Secretary. <laughs> the answer is Beyonce to that one. <laughs> now, who's the best dancer out of these two? Your teacher or a giraffe? <laughs> <laughs> My teacher. That's the, good, that's the correct answer, too. <laughs> Me or Shakira? <laughs> The correct answer is... <laughs> watch it. Um, it's me, it's me. Just okay, say... you. Yeah, correct. <laughs> Good. You or your mum? Me. Correct! <laughs> <laughs> Have you got a dream of what you would like to do when you grow up? I'd love to be a professional dancer and a... Posy model. A posy model? <laughs> yeah. Do you know what my biggest dream is? What? I would like to marry a huge, giant, lint chocolate bunny. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're more likely to achieve your dream. <laughs> Do we want to see what she actually does, ladies and gentlemen? Yeah. Janaya.
done, sweetheart. Well done. The absolutely blinking brilliant Janaea. Our next little big shot is inspired by a huge British star of the 1940s. Just like his hero, he's often cleaning windows or leaning on a lamppost, but tonight he's entertaining us. Please welcome our mini George Formby, James. <laughs> Forties here yeah. on this bench. Yeah. The obvious question yeah. is, why would a thirteen-year-old boy be doing impressions of George Formby? Well, it all started when I was seven years old. When I went to a drama group and I had to get dressed up as an evacuee to sing war songs. And I loved his songs for funny, catchy. So I searched them on YouTube, and that was it. So tell me, are your parents behind this? Do they encourage you with doing this? Yeah, I mean, they never heard of who George Formby was. Mm. First started. Really? Your parents didn't know no. who, he, who he was? <laughs> I really like the way you look as well. Thank it really you. suits you. I had this suit for about four years, but. Have you? Don't want to get rid of it. No, I would, why would you get rid of it? Just don't grow. <laughs> and I noticed that your tie has got lots of little George Formby's yeah, on it. Yeah, lots of little George That Formby's is amazing, absolutely yeah. amazing. Have you watched any of the George Formby movies and stuff? I've seen all 21. Oh, well, 21! 21, yeah. I didn't know that. He was massively funny bloke. Can you do any of his catchphrases? It's turned out nice again, hasn't it? That was basically... <laughs> That's it. And didn't he say, hee hee? Yeah. Hee hee! Yeah. Like that? Yeah. Yeah. How long have you been playing the ukulele? That is a ukulele, yeah, isn't Yeah, that's it? a... Because that doesn't look like the no, kind of ukulele I recognise. It's a banjo ukulele. That's what George Formby played. Did you buy this ukulele specifically because yes. it was yes. like George's? Yes. Did the person that you bought it off know that you do this job? Well, they did after I told them, and I think they knocked a bit <laughs> out. <laughs> Can you show me a few chords on there? So, uh, this is a C. Yeah. This is a C7. This is an F. Go on, now. Yes! <laughs> honestly, James, honestly, this has been one of the highlights of Little Big Shots for me. It's been a pleasure to meet you. James. 
Big Shot you're about to meet knows an awful lot about dinosaurs, like everything about dinosaurs. Meet Warwickshire's youngest paleontologist, eight-year-old Harish. you carry this. Carry it right here into the middle. Hey! Very, very nice to meet you. Thank Come you. and sit down. Nice what on earth have you brought out here? I've brought lots of my toy dinosaurs. How many do you think you've got in there? I've got about 25, but I have over 300 dinosaurs at home. Do you? Yes. What is it about dinosaurs that you find so interesting, Harish? I find it interesting about their fossils and their instinction. Their extinction? What did happen, actually? Dinosaurs went extinct when asteroids and meteorite hit the Yucatan Peninsula of Mexico, which was followed by a volcanic eruption. Oh, my goodness, you really do know, don't you? <laughs> Would you like to have actually met one? Yes. Wouldn't you have been scared if they were meat-eaters? Nope, I wouldn't be scared. You'd Not be like a little snack. I'd be the main course. <laughs> what would pudding be? Your mum, maybe. <laughs> now, you seem like a very smart guy, and I would like to play this game, Lucky Dinosaur Dip. Are you up for that? Yes. I put my hand in there and pull something out. You will tell me some facts about that dinosaur, okay. will you? OK. OK. Here goes. What was that? There isn't a dinosaur here, is there? You would tell me if you saw one, wouldn't you? No. Nope. Please don't let me. I yes. think we're safe. I think we're generally quite safe. Close your eyes. Mm hmm OK. I'm quite tempted to just tiptoe off now, but I won't. <laughs> There's that noise again! Right. What is that? That is a Styracosaurus. Right. It was a ceratopsian, a group of dinosaurs with beaks as mouths. It was a herbivorous dinosaur that lived in the Cretaceous period. What do you think that dinosaur smelt like? I'm not sure. Did you say it was a herbivore? Yes. Yeah, so it would have had quite nice breath, probably. The ones that are the carnivores, you know, if they ate humans and then they burped, Ooh, that wouldn't smell very nice, would it, at all? Right, I'm going in very quickly now. OK. Ready? Go. What is that? That is a Pachycephalosaurus. It was a herbivorous dinosaur that lived in the Cretaceous period. The name Pachycephalosaurus means thick-headed lizard because of how hard its head is. It was used for ramming predators and ramming other Pachycephalosauruses. May I just demonstrate? Do you mean like this? Yes. Right, OK, yeah. What is that? That is a Tyrannosaurus Rex, my yes. favourite dinosaur. The name Tyrannosaurus Rex means Tyrant King Lizard. It was a carnivorous dinosaur that lived in the Cretaceous period. It was from North America, with the brain size of an orange and the teeth size of bananas. <laughs> Is there any you want to show us? Yes. Which one? <laughs> oh, look at this. This has a movable bottom jaw. That is a velociraptor. Now, if you had a pet dinosaur, what would you call it, Harish? I would call it Trendy. Trendy. Yes. Right. Why would you call it that? I'm not sure. I just thought of a random name. <laughs> <laughs> I'd call it chocolate. <laughs> well, look, Harish, this has been such a pleasure to meet you and to play this game with you. And you clearly know everything about dinosaurs. And if I ever need to know any facts, I know the dude that I'm coming to. Ladies and gentlemen, Harish. <laughs> to pop music, I'm a Belieber, I'm a Swifty, I'm a 
What is it when you're a Phil Collins fan? Oh, you're a Phil Collins fan. OK. Pretty soon, though, I reckon I'll be a fan of this next little big shot. From Hampshire, please welcome Sapphire. <laughs> Yeah. You've got sparkly there, yeah. and you've got sparkly there, and I'm really jealous of those. Thank you. What size are they? Uh, four. No, that's wrong. They need to be a five, uh, and then uh, you okay. need to give them to me. <laughs> <laughs> OK, now, I am told you are officially an internet sensation. How did it all start? Well, I was three years old when I started to sing, yeah. and when I was seven years old, I then went onto YouTube oh, and yes. posted my first video. Wonderful. Mm. How many folks have actually watched your videos? 60 million. <laughs> 60 million? <laughs> so, who makes your videos with you? Well, my dad films my videos. OK. There's dad. And then my mum, she'll help with hair, makeup, and She's styles a stylist, and then, really. And, yeah. Okay, so and this is like a family thing. Yeah, it is. Oh, it's that's amazing. great. Does it take over your whole life? This sounds like an awful lot of work. Yeah, it kind of has, but there's still time for everything else in my life as well. I just love doing it, and it's my absolute dream to be a singer. Could you give me any singing tips? Well, there's a few things that I could kind of teach you. Yeah, if you'd like OK. To yes, that. absolutely. Right, OK, so we take two fingers oh. and we, we push the cheeks up like that. Yeah. Like a chipmunk. Yeah. <laughs> and then you go... <laughs> Attractive though, don't I? While I'm doing it, <laughs> yeah, okay. don't yeah. lie to me about that. Okay, okay. All right. And then you've got whistle tones. Okay. And these are seriously high, like almost whistles. So you got. <laughs> the camera's still all right. <laughs> right, I'm going to try that now. I'm led to believe that you can copy other pop stars. Is that true? Yeah, I, okay. I, I try. <laughs> Go on, then. Oh, baby, baby, how was I supposed to know? Boy, you got me fired. Oh, baby, baby, <laughs> I shouldn't have let you go. <laughs> Shakira. Shakira. Oh, yes, I love Shakira. Okay. Shakira. This is a really, really weird one to do. I never, ever, I meant to be together. I'll be there and you'll be me. And that's the deal, my dear. <laughs> <laughs> I can do two and they're not very good. But do you want to hear them? Go for right. it. Right, Anastasia. OK. Mm, baby, come on. <laughs> Here's the other one. You won't know who this is. But you might know. Why okay, am I saying you okay, won't know? Okay. You might know. Congratulations. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> Who's that? Yeah, it's Cliff. Yeah, it's Cliff. Yeah. Ever heard of Cliff? Yes. Yeah. yeah. So that is exactly like him, isn't it? In the little Big Shot's world of dance, we use the word unique sparingly. But I'm going to use it now. This next young lady is just that, unique. She has an amazing talent. From Brompton in North Yorkshire, this is Connie. This is a fairly unique outfit you've got on here. I'm guessing you don't go to the shops in this. No, no. this is not my everyday outfit. No. My friend made it. OK, <laughs> OK. I'm a bit amazed by what's going on on your feet. When you dance, do you dance barefoot? Yeah. I'm very excited to see what you actually do, because I have been told yeah. that I'm in the presence mm -hmm. of a former world champion dancer. Is this true? Yeah. Yes! Yeah. Tell me, 
me a little bit about that. Um, well, when I was five years old, I won the World Championships in freestyle slow dance in Blackpool. What did that feel like? It was very big and amazing. I'd only been dancing a short amount of time when I won. It kind of shocked me a bit. I was like, oh, that's me. Yeah, oh, that's me. <laughs> <laughs> now, have you got anybody with you here today? Yeah, I've got my mum and my dad. Hello. Are they dancers at all? Have they been dancers? And they're like, look at the face. <laughs> look at the face. That told a thousand stories. I've got my older sister, Evie. Uh, she was a dancer and uh, she stopped now because she's working and she's got a boyfriend. She's got a boyfriend. <laughs> Maybe sometimes boyfriends come before dance. It should yeah. never be like that. I never want that to happen to you, Connie. OK. <laughs> Do you know what you're thinking about when you're dancing? I'm thinking, right, I have to point my toes and I have to be proper, but... Um, so you've got a bit of technique go. going on in your yeah. head. Well, when I'm dancing, I'm just thinking about the curry that I'm going to have on the way home. <laughs> now, I always want to know from dancers what is better. Please make a choice from this following list, OK? OK. Dancing or donuts? Um, oh, they're both pretty good, but I have to say dancing. Yeah, dancing or Christmas? Oh, that's a hard one. Christmas, I think. Do you? Yeah. OK. This is a big one. This is really hard, and certainly right. for me and my huge dancing career. Dancing or chips? <laughs> well, I only like certain chips. I don't like the really skinny ones. They have to have, like, lots of potato in them. Yeah, I, yeah. I get it. I totally yeah. get it. So, besides Christmas, is there yeah. anything you like more than dancing? My bed. <laughs> Tell me a little bit about the story of the dance that you're going to do for us tonight. The story is basically that a rag doll, she's just rebelling against the owner and she's coming to life and just saying, like, no, I don't really want to be owned by you anymore and, like, you don't own me. So. Oh, I can't wait to see it, can you? Right. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Connie. already been a world dance champion. We're about to see why. Please do lots of clapping for Connie. Big Shot is a 10-year-old girl from Birmingham. 
She's an aerialist, acrobat and contortionist. Oh, blimey, I'm aching all over just saying that. <laughs> She's brilliant and her name is Harriet. Walk properly. <laughs> I don't know whether to shake your hand or your foot after all of that. Do come and sit down. Aren't you beautiful? Look at you. Your amazing glittery leotard and your hair up and everything. You look gorgeous. Are you part gazelle? <laughs> because of your gorgeous legs. Are you sure your dad wasn't a gazelle? No. Okay, good. Now, Harriet, tell me, what do you do? I do aerial silks, aerial hoop, contortion, acrobatics. Aerial rope, trapeze. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Are you scared when you do that? No. Do you change the light bulb at all when you're up there? <laughs> Just thinking of all the things you could be doing while you're up there. No. You don't get rid of the cobwebs, nothing like that? No. She's of no use whatsoever, <laughs> Mum, for <laughs> sake. What are you thinking about when you're all the way up there? Um, Staying alive? Forward. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You must be very bendy. Yeah, no. now I've done lessons. Yeah. <laughs> I can do that. No, I can't do that. <laughs> That's amazing. So how did you know you could even do this? My dance teacher said to stretch every day and then I became bendier and bendier. And now you're the bendiest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> do you want to run away and join the circus? When I'm older, I want to be Cirque du Soleil. Do you? It's like watching the most beautiful dream, isn't it, when you watch <laughs> Cirque du Soleil? Can you imagine being away from home so much? I wouldn't mind, but you have to audition in... Well, they're French. They're French. Let's just leave it at that. <laughs> they're French. Now, I'm sure you get asked this all the time, but you are the right girl to ask. Can you lick the backs of your knees? <laughs> Um, <laughs> Just, I've always wanted to, because that's the bit that gets really dirty and I would like to clean that off properly. <laughs> Am I repulsing you? <laughs> yes! <laughs> Try a shower instead. Good idea! <laughs> Just wondering, with all your bendying that you're doing all day and you're up and down, do you sleep in a hammock? <laughs> <laughs> No, but I have tried to do um, to write and draw before yeah. with my feet over my head, but it didn't go too good. No. <laughs> you said draw. Is that, is that something that you do as a hobby? Yeah, I really like drawing. And I sit in splits while I'm doing it. And you do the splits while you're doing it? <laughs> well, you sit on the floor with your legs out like that while you're drawing. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I do that sometimes too. It's just, a, <laughs> it's just a way to relax, for heaven's sakes. I want to do a quick personality test with you to see whether you and I could be really good friends or not, OK? You've got yeah. to make a choice between these things. Oh, OK. Carrot or cake? <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to think what you would say. <laughs> <laughs> so... What do you think that would be, Harriet? Cake. Cake, correct. <laughs> Bieber or Timberlake? Neither. Neither? <laughs> really, neither? OK, Bieber. No, wrong. <laughs> uh, dangling from a ribbon high up or eating pizza in front of Hollyoaks? <laughs> Which one do you think I am? Eating pizza. Correct! <laughs> well, I can't wait to see what you do, Harriet. So, ladies and gentlemen, Harriet. than a slinky. Harriet!
Elizabeth. That's fantastic. Oh, you're like a human rubber band. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it for Harriet. <laughs> well done, darling. Well done. Who doesn't love a big, fat wedding? <laughs> well, our next little big shot certainly does. He's usually the highlight. He's so in demand that he's booked up months in advance and he's only nine years old. From Yorkshire, please put your hands together for Joven, the wedding singer. <laughs> up sleeve yeah good on you respect for that yeah now we've got a little bit of film about you that explains something you're looking yeah. dread are you dreading it yeah we don't I'm have dreading. to watch but do you mind if i do yeah okay good let's show it hi everyone my name is Chauvin. i'm nine years old and i've been otley west yorkshire I love to sing in here because I can sing as loud as I want and I won't disturb anybody. I'm really excited to be on Little Big Shots. It's a dream come true to be on TV. I am really looking forward to showing you who I am and what I can do. Bye! Great! Yeah. And here you are. Yeah. And you're very handsome and you look even more handsome 30 foot high like that. <laughs> Now, are you quite famous for doing this? Yeah, I'm quite famous where I live. When we go out to parties and outside with my family, um, people come up to me and say, are you the boy who sings? Are you the wedding singer who sings? It, I feel really good. And one time, my video got shared by a famous singer called Benny Daliwal. He shared it across the world and thousands of people saw it. So. Did they? Yeah. <laughs> did you first perform? It was at a very young age. I was about two to three years old. Right. And it was at my sister's first birthday party. It was the first time I held a microphone and I wanted to do it more and more. Yeah. So after all that practicing and hard work, I get to perform in front of you and in front of this crowd. A little big shots <laughs> and I can't wait. delightful young man you are. <laughs> How many weddings do you think you've done, Joven? More than I can count. I've been to London, Have Glasgow, you? Birmingham. Have I've you? even been to India as well. India was a lot different, though, to the parties and weddings in England. In what way? If the weather's nice there, yeah. um, the parties and weddings will be outside. I see. Does that affect the sound or anything? No, it's really loud. Is it? Yeah, it's the first time I experienced that, singing yeah. and dancing outside. It yes. felt really good to me. So what's your wedding going to be like, do you think? Well, I haven't really thought about it yet, because no. I'm only young. Like, if you, if you really had to think about it, how old would you be before you get married? Do you think, like, 80, 60, um, 30...? 22, probably. 22? Yeah. 22. Are you listening, girls? 22, that's yeah. when he's going to be ready. <laughs> what's the best thing about a wedding? Well, I like the atmosphere the best. Yeah, and I the like the cake. Yeah. <laughs> but the atmosphere is good, yeah. yeah. And the yeah. energy that's being created by the crowd. And when I sing, they support me, encourage me. And when they're having fun, it makes it a lot better as well. So when I perform in front of you and in front of this crowd, yeah. I hope they're going to be on their feet and having a party with me tonight. OK, that's a challenge. to a wedding and you sing at the wedding, do you stay on after you've done the singing? Are well, you allowed to stay up really late? Well, after I've done my singing, um, it gets me in the mood of dancing. Does so it? until, like, cake's being served, yeah. I dance all the way. Yeah. yeah. So you could do the singing the dancing, I could do the cake. We yeah. need to go <laughs> together to the weddings, Joven. <laughs> Ask me next time. <laughs> what language are you singing in, Joven? I'm singing in Punjabi. Okay. That's what... Well, I try to speak it, but I'm not very good. Yeah. Yeah, and at home, when my mum and dad speak it to one another or yeah. to different people, I try and learn from there. OK, and, yeah. and do they sing as well? Does everybody... Nah, no, but they no try good. to. They're um, rubbish, they're yeah. rubbish. My sister's probably the best, but my mum and dad, they aren't so good. No, no. Right. <laughs> 
He's just telling it like it is. Just deal with it. Just deal with it. Take it on board. At school, I was pretty much the best at most sports. Hide and seek, kiss chase. I was very good at that. <laughs> Skipping, not so hot. Fast rope, short legs, quick trip to the nurse. But guess what? Right here in England, we have a boy who's the best freestyle skipper in the world. From Surrey, this is 10-year-old Theo. sport? They're trying to get in the Olympics. And have you done it for a long time? I've been doing it for four years. My teacher at school, we were doing like this obstacle thing. They pretty much just gave me a skipping rope and said, see, let's see what you can do. And I, and I could do this trick called a pretzel. So it's where you go. <laughs> yeah. OK, so you put your leg up and still yeah. keep going? Yeah. When you say pretzel, where was the pretzel? I got very excited when you said pretzel. I thought there was food on the go. You can eat my foot if you really yeah, want to. Yeah, I don't to. want to eat your foot. <laughs> <laughs> so you had an aptitude for it right from the very start. Yeah. I skipped a lot at school, but mainly I skipped maths and I skipped <laughs> the entire fourth form. <laughs> what is different about what you do compared to what we all kind of do in the playground? First of all, like, I have two ropes. These have longer handles, which makes it easier to do the stuff and... This one is my speed rope. Oh, right. And okay. it's completely wire. Wire? That could hurt. Yeah, so you have to go as fast as you can with the rope and they only count your right leg. That's a lot different. Do you have names for all the different ropes that you skip with? This is Steve. This is Steve, <laughs> right. Can I have a look at it? Yeah, sure. Okay, so I'll show you just a normal trick. Crossover. Yeah. And this is a harder trick. TJ. Wow, that's amazing. <laughs> well done. So this one, this is a wire. Yeah, completely wire. OK, it looks like something you might cut cheese with. I'm scared about your legs with this. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so this is speed. Oh, my God. Then you do double unders. Yeah. Have you ever hurt yourself with that? Yeah. Have you, have you ever cut your actual head off? Of course. Of course you have. This is like a fake one. Yeah. <laughs> That's your new fake head. Yeah. Good thing you've got a replacement. <laughs> have you done competitions? Uh, yeah, I've done quite a lot of nationals which is, like, just the UK, you know. Yeah. And then I've done two world championships. I got quite a lot of golds and stuff. Did you? So yeah. you've got lots of awards? Yeah. Well done, mate. That's amazing. And then the second year, the problem was I forgot my freestyle. Okay. Stood there and was like, I forgot my routine. Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> Did you make it up as you went along? Yeah, but I still got the medals. <laughs> It keeps you pretty fit, doesn't it? Does it attract girls, do you think, skipping? Of course. Of course. So are you, like, amazingly popular because of skipping? No. <laughs> I'm, I'm just a sad boy who sits in the corner. I don't believe you for a moment with that. <laughs> I don't look at his face. That's so not true. OK, Theo, we're all longing to see you actually do this, aren't we? Yeah. OK, well, ladies and gentlemen, Theo. Old into an international skipping star, the fantastic Theo.
about that performance, apart from the rope, obviously. Still, what amazing skipping. Let's hear it for Theo! Welcome to the Little Big Shots YouTube channel. This is where you'll find some of the most talented children in the world. There are new videos every week, plus bonus bits of Little Big Shots not seen anywhere else. Just click on the links right now, and why not subscribe? Go on.